Hi, I'm Lewis. And I'm Jackie. And, and welcome, welcome to All in the Room. Room. Reports from public safety indicate a girl was hit in the head by a beer bottle at 1.30 p.m. on a St. Patrick's Day. In Ireland, they call that a baptism. Um, I think we were all hit in the head at 1.30 p.m. on St. Patrick's Day with a beer bottle. Under the tent's theme this year is Miami 1985. Finally, a theme that doesn't sound like a candle. Cerulean seas? What does that even mean? I know what Miami 1985 means. Neon, mustaches, speedboats, and cocaine. Josh Peck will be the Thursday speaker for Spring Weekend, offering students insight on how he made great shows for children and terrible vines for teenagers. Cab announced that T-Pain will be performing for Spring Weekend, ending Fordham's streak of not letting in black people. I mean rappers. Though Campus Activities Board was able to hire T-Pain this year for Spring Weekend, here at Fordham TV we were only able to hire Time Flies to talk about T-Pain. Oh, yo, 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 what's up guys, what's going on? One share. Cal, yeah. the other one. What have you guys been doing since you left campus last year? Oh man, since we left campus last year? I mean, it was crazy. We ended up going on tour right away. We had such success. Uh, what places did we go to? I mean, we hit up the New York Botanical Gardens. Uh, we hit up Fordham Calder Center. We hit up Lincoln Center Campus. Uh, we went to Roosevelt High School across the street. And then we even hit up, uh, you know, the cafeteria, uh, Office of Disability Services. I mean, the whole tour was tight. Wait, so you just toured at Fordham locations? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, I love Ford. Ford. There's no, there's so much I gotta see. New York is my campus, no other place I'd rather, I'd want to be. Ford and Rose Hill, it doesn't get much better. If you want to meet up, hit me up, I'm at McGinley Center. Yeah! <laughs> Diversity is key. Wait, is this the rap you guys wrote ahead of time? I'm sorry, freestyled ahead of time? Oh yeah, we, I have a freestyle for you guys. Hand me my freestyle, man. You guys are gonna really dig this if you dug it last year. Right, more of this coming in a couple of weeks, if you know what I mean. All right, hmm. All right, let's get it. Just two weeks until we're back performing. Spring weekend coming right back here at Fordham. <laughs> Spring weekend, it's all I got going on. I lost a lot of money and now I sleep on Mater's lawn. Uh. Sleep over. Yeah. Wait, you guys realize Cab hired T-Pain, not you. Were you? Damn. All right, hang me my hand me my angry freestyle. I didn't think I'd have to do it to you for if I thought what? I thought this was a unique experience, man. Hold on. Fordham. I thought what we had was special. I lived for your spring weekends, man. I even cleared my schedule, man. I even canceled lunch with Rez. Shoot! <coughs> now I'm playing Rez, you'll know I'll eat with you. Word. <laughs> nah, but really, Fordham, this is really lame. I can't believe you fired me and hired that T-Pain. Wait. T-Pain, so you did know he was coming, otherwise you wouldn't have wrote this ahead of time. Freestyled ahead of time. Ladies Big and gentlemen, difference. time flies! Time flies Tuesdays, everybody! Respect for Life Week is coming up, and you know what that means. The graveyard of the unborn. Because nothing makes your cause look more legitimate and rational than making McGinley look like Disneyland's The Haunted Mansion ride. Collins Hall announced plans this week to renovate to make it more wheelchair accessible. And by more accessible, I mean more than not at all. Like, not even close. Here to elaborate is our resident theater kid, Gabby Gillespie. Thanks, Lewis. I'm so excited that Collins will finally be more wheelchair accessible. Last year, the president of Mimes broke both her legs, and they had to carry her up the stairs every time they had to have rehearsal. But there's a lot more problems with Collins than it not being wheelchair accessible. It's pretty much structurally unsound. I was told that the roof can cave in at any moment. Like, not even within the next five years. Like, at any moment. But the thing is, if they did renovate Collins, that'd be like a whole year at least without any theater on campus, because that's where all the groups perform. And if there's no theater on campus, then there's nowhere for me to go to get attention and for everyone to tell me how great and pretty I am. And if I don't get that, I just go a little nuts. <laughs> Thanks, Lois. Thanks, Gabby. Housing registration just closed, and if you're in post lotto, don't worry. Next year's sophomores will have the opportunity to live 20 feet underground in the Seismic Research Center. It's Darty season once again, folks. This morning I was awoken by the sound of country music coming from Bros Hill. Here to comment on all there is to do off campus is our resident bro. What? He's, he's at the Darty? Never mind. It's spring fever. You can see all the students on eddies and hear the sound of fornicating cats in the air. 
Mark Zuckerberg testified in front of Congress about Facebook this week, a company he started in his dorm room. Catch the guy who sells spring weekend tank tops testifying in front of Speaker of the House Chicago West in 10 years. Khloe Kardashian gave birth to her first daughter this week after learning that her boyfriend cheated on her with not one, but three strippers. No word on the name yet, but we can assure you that it's not going to be Stephanie, Tanya, or Lori. That's all we have this week, folks. This, this has been, been All, all in the, the Rambly. <laughs> 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 <laughs>